Hello everyone, this is Stag. Uh, this is my painting, Storm. Originally it was supposed to be the cover for the Unicorn Coloring Book, and I ended up not liking it as much as I should, and I had some other neat sketches that I had lying around, because they were pages from the coloring book. I did uh, change this one up from the page, because like working back and forth on things, Sometimes the paintings end up being a little different than the original coloring page was, and I ended up adding lightning to the horn later on. Because I felt like it needed some lightning. More lightning. I actually really like painting lightning. And I really love uh, playing with clouds with a, and a more darker sky like this, and being able to do like a deep underpainting for the sky, which is not something I used to do. But I've been doing underpaintings more and more because it really helps kind of think and develop the colors and the shadows. When I work with the, the laying down the flat color first and then building up slowly, I don't always think about the shadows and they're kind of like an afterthought. And I know sometimes I'll probably have lighting going in different directions, but with the underpainting, when you're just working in like brown or black or whatnot, you actually think more about it, of where you're placing pretty much the shadowing. Normally, um, you don't see it often, but to get the original sketch over to the canvas, I end up using transfer paper. But I get asked a lot how I get the drawing on there, because I do not like drawing on canvas. It's really hard to erase on top of the gesso. Like, it just isn't isn't the best time anyway. With the transfer paper I end up getting uh, wax free so it's easy to erase and wipes up with a brush but I gotta be careful because I can really lose my lines so sometimes I'll do the outline first and then start going into underpainting and I do like a solid wash. But overall like I like uh, paintings when I do like a darker blue sky against the like, grass for some reason. Like I like that color combination of the green and the blue. So you probably noticed that uh, there is a section of this video that it jumps from the unicorn not being colored in at all and no lightning to this. Um, I have scoured the computer for this legendary footage that doesn't seem to exist. I have no idea what happened, how it might have gotten deleted or didn't record at all. Like, I have no idea if that was from a stream night or not. Like, I have so much footage from paintings and every stream that I go through I'll, normally after the fact and I, I just have no idea where it went. I end up painting over the unicorn because I didn't really like these colors as much as I thought. And for lightning, I normally do kind of like a deeper blue-ish color and then go through it with lighter to make it look like it has some kind of like radiant light effect. Unfortunately, right now I cannot do anything about it because it doesn't seem to exist on the computer at all. Um, I normally, like with every video, if there's any like slight changes in between frames, it's normally because it has dried within that period, but I normally try to go out of my way to kind of make sure everything's in a video from start to finish of the painting. Now there might be something where like I, I sign it after the fact or whatnot. So it really, really bothers me, and I almost don't want to post this video because I'm missing that section right there. But at least I have the footage from the majority of it. The only thing I can think of was something happened, because normally I use a software called OBS, Open Broadcasting Service System, I, I don't really remember, but I use it to uh, stream on Twitch with, and I also use it for my recording as well. So there might have been something, because normally when I hit to start stream, the recording starts. So there might have not been paired for some reason. And when I started stream, 
it didn't record. Like, even though all my unicorns, to a degree, look a little similar, like, I feel like between the three paintings, I got kind of a different feel for each one. I get asked a lot if they're inspired at all by uh, My Little Pony. Um, my daughter actually loves that show, but I don't watch it personally. I used to collect the My Little Ponies when I was a kid, and for a while, years ago, I did have like a small series where I did paint stuff on their uh, the behinds, kind of like a My Little Pony, but they're more darker themed. I kind of went away from that, but normally. For a lot of the paintings, I actually use dogs as reference. Um, I did kind of use a horse for reference for this one, but uh, like a... It's also how we fly painting, where the unicorn is farting a rainbow. Like, I, I used a dog in a playful stance for that one. I would love someday to actually probably do some more realistic horses. I'm sure my style will change immensely within the next 5-10 years because it's kind of how it works. Every painting is a learning process. Like I kind of advise against people trying to emulate other artists because while you do that, you're learning another artist's errors and faults as well. Um, like You want to just kind of go on a journey on your own and progress because you're always learning. You never actually master it. And I do thoroughly enjoy the journey of art because like, I get this kind of euphoric feeling every time I finish a painting, especially if I have no idea if it's going to work out. And it just takes practice. I'm, I've been scrapping more and more paintings because it's just like, I don't like this. But normally if I stick to the end, it ends up working out and it's amazing, but it's really hard to kind of stay in a more positive mind frame with stuff. But overall, I like this painting. I like how the purple kind of came in. And I'm happy I changed the unicorn's colors to more of like a purple-blue tone instead of that weird pinkish. But I think I ended up changing it because I did the other unicorn with like pink hair. But thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again. You can find me on Patreon, where I have monthly subscription packages. I also have a Kickstarter going on right now for my Oracle deck and coloring book. And there's a few other rewards with the same theme. And you can find me on the social medias, which uh, Instagram is probably my most widely posted social media, just because it's images. I like it better for art. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you next time.